Time to grab another MacBook. Definitely not cherry picked. Won't charge or turn on. No liquid damage. EP5 ES5. Not present. PP bus G3 hot. Present. PP5 ES5, not present. We checked PP bus G3 hot. PP DCN has to be there because we're getting PP bus G3 hot. PP3 V42 has to be there because the one wire circuit is working. PP VRTC G3 hot is here. And that's good. But our PP5 ES5 which is supposed to be here, is missing. And as can be seen, the chip responsible for creating PP5ES5 U7501 appears to have been soldered onto the board by an idiot. Dear God, those joints are even worse than mine. Is this even soldered onto the board? Who hurt you, little MacBook? All right, and the other thing we should do is see if it's being told to turn on. That is not corrosion. Those are just pubes and poor soldering. So remember, SMC PMG 2 en is going to have to be present on the enable pin on pin 12 in order to enable the LDO for PP5VS5 to turn on. So EN is going to mean enable. So it's like the on switch. Except here, the, instead of it being a switch, it's a voltage. Now what's interesting is that we're not getting the enable here. See that? It's blinking. It's zero. Now that signal comes from the system management controller, which means this likely has a bad SMC. Or the bad TPS51980 is pulling that down. PP3V3S5 is present. That's PP3V3S5. Or does it? It jumps up and down. Now that's going to be enabled by... P3V3S5ENR, which is going to be enabled by S5 Power Enable, which is connected to SMC PMG to EN. And the enable is jumping up and down. Now, why is the enable jumping up and down? Is it jumping up and down because the TPS51980 is bad or because the SMC is bad? Well, there's one way to find out, and I'm going to go with the chip that looks like it's soldered poorly. So we're going to put a single pawl of flux there. Quesadilla making and watching the stream in the kitchen, my girlfriend keeps saying on repeat, PP3V42, and has no clue what's going on. Hello, Vince's girlfriend. How are you doing tonight? I hope your pee-pee bus is treating you well. And I hope it's G3 hot. All right. Hopefully this will bring PP5VS5 and PP3V3S5 back. Now, as we heat, the corrosion makes itself clear. Aha. What's this in between there? Look at that. See this? That wasn't clear before, but now I see it.
Winner, winner, reflow dinner. Now, if you need a new TPS 51980, you can find one on store.rossmangroup.com. But in this case, since I don't feel like walking up to the front, I'm going to take one from one of my donor boards. But if you don't have a donor board, do keep in mind that you can always find the chip on store.rossmangroup.com. If you go to store.rossmangroup.com, you can simply search for TPS 51980. And before you even hit enter on the search feature, that doesn't work. By the way, don't hit enter on the search feature because it won't actually work. It'll auto-complete, which is the search function that does actually work. And it'll bring you to a TPS 51980. That's the magic of store.rossmangroup.com. Don't delay. Find the chip today. Hello, hi hi. I've been trying to offer hi hi a job for a year and a half. A full year and a half I've spent sitting here begging hi hi to come work here. Does hi hi come to work here? Nope. If hi hi cared about the company, if he cared about the stream and the channel, hi hi would have come to work here. And hi hi would have done a good job. But hi hi doesn't care about any of you. Hi Hi is selfish and cares about his own personal interests and goals and life ambitions. So he focuses on his own life rather than focusing on what really matters, this YouTube channel and stream. Hi Hi will say, make a couple excuses and say things like, I have to do family stuff, or I have a real job, or I'm trying to get an education. Blah. I'm too important to ship shit and reassemble crappy boards all day. I want to have a career. I want a retirement plan. I want health care. Aren't you, Mr. Greedy? Fan spin, little MacBook! So, let's go over what was going on here, because this is going to confuse a lot of people. The issue that we were having with little MacBook is that when we were going through the list of power rails, we had a missing power rail on the S5s. The S5s that we were missing were a combination of PP5VS5 and PP3V3S5. Both of those rails are created by U7501, and both of these rails are enabled by SMCPMG2EN. SMCPMG2EN is going to enable the 5 volt regulator. And then enable 2, P3V3S5 enable, which is to enable PP3V3S5, comes from S5 power EN. And S5 power enable is going to come from R8140. R8140 simply connects SMC PMG to EN to S5 power EN. So I went to take a look at this enable signal. And this enable signal was fluctuating up, down, up, down, up, down. 
which would make somebody inclined to figure out where that comes from. And that signal comes from the SMC. So if we were to look at the SMC, you'd find that this signal comes out of the SMC, somewhere on this page. Here, right over here, SMC PMG2EN, over here, it comes out of the SMC. So since that signal is going up and down, what someone may think is, I need to replace U5000. But in reality, the problem is that the chip is bringing that down. U7501 was bad. It had funky looking soldering, and it was only when I started to apply some heat and flux to it that I was able to see that there was bad soldering there, and also a little bit of liquid damage. So then, rather than blame the SMC, I came to the theory that it was the chip that was pulling that enable signal down. And once we came to that theory that the chip was bad in pulling the enable theory down, we replaced it. And you can too with a new one from store.rossmangroup.com. Search U7501 or U7501 or TPS51980 and you too can have a TPS51980 chip delivered straight to your door anywhere in the world. It's just that's the magic of store.rossmangroup.com. And now the board works again. That's two MacBooks we made work today. There were poor, unhappy, sad little MacBooks before. And now they're good. It could have gone either way. It could have been the SMC is sending out the signal intermittently, or it could have been bad chip. And that little bit of liquid damage combined with the messed up soldering by the chip was what tilted it over into me replacing the chip. Now, if SMC PM G2E enable was missing entirely, then I would blame the SMC. But if it's going up, down, up, down, up, down, I'm likely to blame the chip. And here's why. What I think is occurring is that the signal's being created, but U7501 being broken was shorting the rail to ground or taking up too much power or failing. So the SMC would say, oh, God, okay, I'm going to stop sending it out now. Okay, I'll send it out again. Oh, God, the chip is dead. I'll stop sending it out now. Oh, God, I'm going to send it out again. Oh, crap, the chip's taking too much power. And it was going back and forth that way. So that was my logic here. A lot of people will try to replace the SMC when they realize that that signal is jumping up and down, when that's not the actual issue. So I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to have some fun with my new bicycle, which I'm only going to pedal home. I'm only going to pedal it. Yep, I'm just pedaling for me. Definitely not going to e-bike it, because e-bikes are wrong. When is store.rossmangroup.com stocking buffing motors? I think you need a different license and everything for all that. I got to look into that because I'd actually like to stock some Bafang. I would not mind being sponsored by Bafang. I think they make a lovely product besides all the crappy solder joints inside the thing that I'm going to be riding at 20 miles an hour. So that's it for tonight. And as always, I really hope that you learned something. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for sharing, and if you were able to use any of this information to make a MacBook or anything in your own personal life or the lives of your friends and family work again, save a little bit of money and get that happy feeling that comes when something works again. Thanks for being a part of this fun little thing we call independent electronics repair.